Okay. So I'm going to give you a short demonstration of my keyboard stats tool. Uh, in order to start the program, you do like this. Uh, you specify which input file to read the events from. In this case, I've specified the path to all the events from this USB keyboard here. And uh, I've also specified the N flag of a thousand, which generates a desktop notification each thousand, uh, every thousand keystroke. Right, so let's try this. So as you can see in the top window here, you have a bar chart of uh, where it ranks the key press, uh, the, the most common characters that you type. So this is a test, blah, blah, blah. You can see we get a lot of uh, new keys here. And uh, in the info pane here, you get the current uh, words per minute, which is uh, right now 11, and the total of number of keys that I've pressed since I started the program. You also have a different uh, another chart here for the WPMs over the last hours. So you can go back and look if you've been programming or anything to see how you're doing. Uh, so let's let's try a typing test and you will see the stats open in real time. Okay. Let's do this here, my second screen. Uh, Blah, blah, here you get the point. So, yeah, as I said, uh, the tool is written in Rust and you can find the source code to it uh, in my GitHub. I will have a link in the description. So, but we can take a look at some of the more flags you can feed to the program. So if we do keyboard stats dash help, you will see the, all the flags here. Of course, you have, as I said, help and you also can see which version you're running right now. Uh, the I flag or input file specifies which uh, input file to listen to in, in uh, Linux. So slash dev slash input by path to, to find which ones you have right now. Uh, the, the N flag uh, corresponds or num notify keys specifies uh, the number of key presses needed to trigger notification. This is optional. Uh, you can also write all the output, all the statistics to a file after you quit the program, which is this O flag or output file. And this is nice in order to save the statistics of the session in a more persistent manner. So you can actually so you make actual changes to your like QMK uh, layout or whatever. Uh, it's much more nice than to to be able to look. You only see like the top 20, 20 most uh, common keys or so, depending on your screen size. If you look at the top pane here. Right. Yeah, so that's it. Please try it out. Uh, it's in the AUR if you run Arch Linux. Uh, I, can, I will add a link in the description. Uh, otherwise, if you don't run Arch, you want to try it, you can uh, clone the repository and do a simple cargo run or build if you're familiar with the uh, Rust toolchain. This is a Rust package. Great. Enjoy. <laughs>